Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Today I just want to share with you a close-up of how fountain pen writing looks like on 36 GSM mica onion skin paper as well as the 40 GSM version. Now this is the paper, it is labeled 40 GSM and here is how it looks against a black background. And now uh, this is the 36 GSM. Now here is an actual 40 GSM paper which I still have some sheets left of and as you can see it looks very slightly thicker. Not a lot but it's noticeable on a dark background. The 36 GSM is on the left and the 40 GSM paper is on the right. Everything, by the way, is labeled 40 GSM on the packaging, but it is only after I open the pack and look closely at the paper inside that I can see whether it's the 40 GSM or the 36 GSM. I have a previous video about writing on the actual 40 GSM paper as well as how the notebook fits inside a Hobonichi cover and I will link that video down below. But for now, let me just show you a visual comparison. Again, the uh, 36 GSM is on the left and the 40 GSM is on the right. There is a slight color difference. The 36 on the left is more white and the 40 GSM on the right is more cream against the black background. That is because the paper on the right, the 40 GSM, is thicker so you can see more of the actual color of the paper on it. And on the close-up, you can also see more of the grains pattern on the paper. I'm not really sure what the technical term is, but you can see on the left that the pattern on the paper is finer and more visible against the black background compared to the paper on the right. And that is the extent of the visual difference between the 36 and the 40 GSM Mica Onion Skin Paper. When it comes to performance with fountain pen inks, they are the same. Let me show you. Let us write on the 36 GSM paper first, using this Pelican M400 White Tortoise Fountain Pen. It has an extra fine nib as you can see, but it is so so wet, it writes like a medium. The ink in this pen is the Buttered Popcorn from Ferris Wheel Press. I do have an unboxing and swatching of this ink in my channel and I will link it down below. As you can see, the pen writes very wet that it doesn't look like an extra fine nib anymore. To my eyes, it is much closer to a medium. And that is really my preference. I prefer very wet fountain pens because they are better at showing shading, which is what we call it when the handwriting shows up darker in some of the lines than the others, as you can see here. The 36 GSM Mica Onion Skin version doesn't come to me very often. I usually really do get the 40 GSM most of the time. But every once in a while, I get the 36 GSM one. And the moment I got some of the 36 GSM, I decided to make this comparison video, which for some reason, I never thought of doing before now. But I do have a video about the 40 GSM one, which like I said, I will link down below. Now when the ink is still wet on the 36 GSM, there is a teeny tiny bit of bumpiness on the paper, which means the paper doesn't look completely flat because the ink is still wet. But if you wait a couple of minutes, the ink will dry and the paper will be completely flat. And I have turned on the stopwatch on my watch because I wanted to know exactly how long it takes for the ink to completely dry on the paper so that the paper will go back to being completely flat. And while waiting for that, let me show you the back. As you can see here, there is a lot of ghosting or what we call show through or see through. But to my eyes, there is no bleed through. The ink is not bleeding through or seeping through to the back side, but it does show through. At around four minutes, the ink is completely dry on the paper, and so the paper is completely flat. So, uh, can you write on the back of the paper? I tried it, and my conclusion is that you can you can write on the back of the paper, even with the ghosting or the show through. See, the writing is very legible on the back. 
which does not interfere with the legibility of the writing on the front. And here is an even closer look at the double-sided writing. So now let us compare how the 36 GSM and the 40 GSM look like in one frame with a black background underneath. The one on the left is uh, the 36 and the one on the right is the 40. And as you can see, the quality and appearance of the writing is the same on both of the papers. The shading of the ink, the color of the ink, they look the same. And when I place a white sheet of paper underneath the two papers, you can better see how it looks. It does look the same to my eyes. When it comes to the color of the ink and the amount of shading on the ink, there is no difference between the two. And here I have flipped them over. The ghosting is less on the 40 GSM, which is the paper on the right, as can be expected because that one is very slightly thicker. But when the back side is written on, it looks like this on the back when it's still wet. And when it is dry, it looks like this. This is the 36 GSM. And this is the 40 GSM. This is 36. This is 40. And here is how it looks on the front when everything is completely dry. I think it really boils down to personal preference. I prefer the 36 GSM because I prefer ghosting, which you might consider strange. <laughs> but I have always liked onion skin even when I didn't know that a fountain pen friendly onion skin paper existed. I even have an old blog post about it which I will link down below. I grew up in the 1980s and back then we used typewriters and onion skin papers and carbon sheets to make multiple copies of documents. And I really liked how they used onion skin sheets look stacked together and you can see the imprint showing through every single sheet. I really really like that. But if you're a lover of paper, try both of these. Having both will be a benefit to your notebook collection. And that is my little video for you today. Thanks for watching. Bye!